Hello coolers, welcome to Team FCB and in today's edition of Barca Daily News Daniel Moa agrees to a five-year contract proposal from Barcelona Miriam Pianch leaves the club to join by Sixtas on loan Alex Collado at the risk of not playing for entire season and European Super League project resurfaces First up, as reported by Mundo Deportivo, former La Masia sensation Danny Olmo has instantly agreed to a five-year contract proposal from Barcelona. On the deadline day, the Spanish outlet reports that RB Leipzig informed the winger Danny Olmo about the Barcelona proposal and allowed the two parties to negotiate a deal. A move is already in the work according to previous speculation with Olmo a target for Barcelona in the January window of 2022. He has been linked with a return to Barcelona plenty of times since his departure and MD reports that Olmo accepted Barcelona contract contract offer practically without even looking at the terms. Such is the love for the club and desire to return to being the first team since leaving for Dynamo Zagreb a few years ago, when he did not have any scope for promotion. Naturally, given Barcelona economic predicament, the young Spaniard will not be offered any lucrative condition. Danny almost transfer would be one to keep an eye on. Next up, the 2021 summer window has been one of the many twists for FC Barcelona. While the European transfer window officially ended two days ago, that's of Teki as not as of yet. As such, Turkish club Besiktas has knocked on Miriam Pjanic door to force a move and they have landed a man. The deal will be a loan move for one year with a Turkish giant with the net payable amount listed at 2.75 million euros as a salary to Bosnian. The reason for this sudden departure is that he knew he did not want to be a fringe player for the Catalan club for months to come. While it has not been said directly, it is clear as day that Ronald Koeman does not consider him in his plan. Pjanic's situation at Barcelona was far from ideal all the way from his arrival to his turn at the club. Over the course of the past few months, he has been intent on leaving and Barcelona have been friendly in parting ways with him. Next up, as reported by Albert Roj of Sport, former Barcelona B captain Alex Colado will not be able to play this season as he has not been registered with any Barcelona team so far. Alex Colado decided to leave Barcelona in search of more minutes earlier in the preseason. That said, the young playmaker was widely linked with the move away from the camp now on a year-long deal for considerable stretch of the transfer window. A deal with the club brag seemed done and on a deadline day, a move to Sheltfield United seemed within sight but neither of the two materialized. The 2021-22 season is already in the full flow. The first team and the B team have released the squad list with the official kit number for the coming season and the 22-year-old find himself on neither list and now stays at a possible blank season without a team. Next up, it seems like the fans of football have not seen the last of the doomed European Super League project. With Real Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus still remaining remaining part of the Super League, one had to expect for round two. As per report from Mundo Deportivo, the trio are working toward relaunching the competition. Indeed, it is claimed that the three clubs are working with the English marketing and PR firm Flint to restart the project that crashed before it was able to take off properly. It further said that the Super League is working on proposal that will be a bomb proof against any attempt to strike it down by UEFA. Rio Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus are facing a sanction from European football governing body for not with the drawing from the breakaway competition. But they have managed to bring a halt to that by taking the method to court. Real Madrid and Barcelona also refused to be involved in the La Liga CVC sponsorship agreement earlier this summer as it would have hampered the Super League ambition. With the two clubs along with Juventus working with the PR firm to revive the project, the Super League could very well show its ugly head again in a short time. So that's it for today, Team FCB Barca Daily News. As always, check out all the other content that we've got here and let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, see you all later.